Helen is a rehabilitation physician in clinical practice in Sydney who is representing Doctors for the Environment Australia. DEA is a voluntary organisation of doctors from around Australia whose aim is to inform and educate the public, the medical profession and policy makers about the relationship between human health and the environment. Welcome Helen. expansion that is planned for this industry and the potential for cumulative effects over time. Today I'm going to outline the risks to human health from coal seam gas. And roughly the, the health impacts can be divided into direct and indirect health impacts. Direct health impacts mainly stem from the process and the chemicals used in hydraulic fracturing or fracking which stimulates gas to flow from a well of an unconventional gas type. <coughs> so just to recap briefly, it involves pumping very large volumes of water, sand and chemical additives at high pressure down a cement case gas well and into the coal seam. This quite literally fractures the coal seam and provides numerous new pathways for gas to flow. These fractures are held open by sand or another propping agent. And between 15 and 80% of this, the water that goes down comes back up to the surface. Each well requires a custom made recipe of additives and chemicals for successful fracture stimulation. In Australia, the chemical additives that are used in fracking haven't actually been assessed for that use and most haven't been assessed at all by our national chemical regulator. Nor is there any mandatory requirement for gas companies to disclose exactly what they use. In the US, an independent agency has compiled a list of about a thousand different products used and over 600 different chemicals, but there are many gaps also in this information. Effects of chemicals on human health depend on toxicity, dose, route and duration of exposure and the health status of the people involved. Health effects can be immediate or long term, direct or indirect, such as via effects on the food chain. Long term concerns include endocrine disruption, fertility and reproductive effects and also cancer. These can occur with very low chemical exposures over a period of time. Doctors for the Environment's concern is the uncertainty and the lack of regulation of chemicals used in the CSG industry. What is needed is full mandatory disclosure of all chemicals used in fracking and assessment of their potential for short and long term harm. So in addition to this problem, hydraulic fracturing can, can provide a pathway for chemicals that are used in drilling and fracking to enter groundwater and in order to release the gas, water has to be removed and the seam depressurised. Coal seam water is not just any sort of water, it's got quite a range of contaminants in it. Contains volatile organic compounds or VOCs, including variable amounts of BTEX. It is heavily saline and is not suitable for agricultural or domestic purposes. It contains heavy metals and radioactive compounds including arsenic, cadmium, chromium, lead and uranium. Any spillage or uncontrolled release of fluid from a well, such as occurred with AGL's Glen Alpine well when they were cleaning it in May, will contain these compounds, which are individually and together a health hazard. The rapid expansion of CSG in New South Wales and Australia threatens human health in multiple ways and DEA would like to see a moratorium on further development of CSG while a full health impact assessment is done and done nationally. Thank you. 